Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am making this little dry erase frame, is what I'm going to call it, I guess. Um, and I thought this would be a great little gift for someone even, you know, like for Mother's Day is coming up and stuff like that. But, you know, it's great for something to have for yourself. Now I saw this, this popped up on um, one of my news feeds. I saw somebody had made one like this. I don't know who did it. I want. I love to give credit to people that have made these, but I just couldn't figure out where it actually originally came from. So anyway, we're going to make one here. It's not going to be exactly the same, so I'm not going to copy what they did. But anyway, I'm going to be using this frame. It's an 8x10 frame. Um, you can get frames like at the thrift store or something. I picked this one up just at Dollar Tree the other, yesterday because, you know, I just wanted to do this real quick because I thought it would be such a fun thing to do. Um, this is an 8x10. You can use any size. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. Whatever you want to do. Um, and this is just a great little thing that you can set up, you know, like by your desk or something, which this would probably be much too big to set up like on your desk you're using, so you could make a smaller one. But I'm going to use mine here in the craft room, and I thought this is a wonderful idea just to jot things down real quick, and then you're able to erase it because we're going to use the dry erase markers. So I'm just going to show you really quick how this is made. It is just so simple. And if you wanted to make one for like a, a child's uh, writing thing or something, you could do it with those plexiglass. They have them little acrylic like um, uh, frames, that, you know, that they just stand up and there's no glass involved. But you could always replace the glass here with um, some plexiglass or something too. So you're going to want to take all your stuff out of here. So I'm going to get this glass out of here and carefully set this aside because this I'm going to be using, and I have these stickers here, Let me get that glass over there, these stickers here that I found at Dollar Tree, um, this, like I said, if you wanted to do this, something like this for Mother's Day, um, you could add one of these stickers to it, they have all these, oh, they're hard to see because there's nothing behind them, all these cute little stickers on here that you can add to this too, and I'll show you how that's going to look here in a second. So the first thing I wanted to do was to just change up the color of this just a little bit just because it's really really shiny. So I did do a test run here. I'm just going to add a little bit of this Parisian gray chalk paint to the edge. I mean you don't have to do that depending on the frame you get. It all depends. I need a piece of paper towel. So I'm only going to need a very very little bit of this and you're just going to want a nice stiff brush to do this with. Um, and I'm actually just going to put some of this right here on a paper towel. So I want to do this first so then we can do the rest. Whoops, I don't even need that much. Um, I want to do the rest of this while this is drying. So I just want to kind of just put a little bit of markings here and there. And I'm going to wipe some of this off with the napkin here in a second. I'm going to let it sit for a second here. And then just wipe a lot of it off just to take down some of the shine on this thing. And give it more of a weathered aged look or whatever. Um, but that's all I'm going to do is just like this. And this stuff dries really fast on the plastic, so I need to go back over this real quickly here. I'm just going to get some of it off. See what I mean? And just kind of leave it so it has like this little bit of a weathered... This top isn't too bad. But if you get it too thick, just go ahead and wipe some of that off. And if you get too much, you can just take a little sandpaper and go over it. But these were just too plain, too shiny, so I just wanted to do something to this a little bit. But like I said, I'm just going to smear some of this gray on here real quick. Nothing fancy. We're not going to do like any major painting here. But this would look really great with like a nice wood frame if you have one. You might even have an old wood frame that you would want to use. Um, <clears throat> I just did not have one on hand, and I thought I had one of those acrylic ones on hand, too. I wanted to show you guys, but I don't. So we'll have to do that another day. We'll do the, the children's one. But it would be great for, like, um, you know, kids practicing their numbers or something with the acrylic frame. All right, so that is all I'm going to do, though, just to give it that little bit of a weathered look, and it took quite a bit of the uh, shine off of this thing. I'm also going to be using some of these little um, fastener dots, or the Velcro dots. You can get these at Dollar Tree. They have the round ones, they have the square ones there too. So I'm going to use some of these to hook our little dry erase pen on here. So let me set that aside so it can dry. Now, 
What I'm going to do for my paper on the inside of this one is I didn't want to use just regular lined stationary paper because I thought it, the lines were just going to be a little bit too close together. But if you're using a smaller frame, you can just go ahead and use some regular lined stationary paper. But I took a piece of cardstock, and I'll show you what I did here. I started another one here. Um, I just measured down three inches from the top because I want to leave room up here to add a little decoration or whatever to. And then I measured, you know, down three inches, and then every inch I made a little dot on each side of my paper. And then I just took my, where's my pen? A little Sharpie or a regular pen, whatever you want to use, just to make the lines. And then I just went down here, like so, and just, you know, made my lines. Because I just wanted them a little bit wider because I can't write that small. My wrist is so awful anymore, I kind of got to right this way. It doesn't bend like it used to. Whoops, well, if you want to make your line straighter than I just did there. But anyway, that one will probably end up getting cut off anyway. And then just take the back of your picture frame here, the one with the, um, that has the little stand on it, and then all I did was, good, I can cut that off, get rid of that line that I did there. I just put that over top of the paper, or you could use the glass. I prefer to do it with the cardboard, because glass makes me nervous. And then just trace around that with a pen or something, and then just go ahead and cut that out, and then that'll fit in your frame just nicely. And that's all I did for that, is just cut that out. I should have started at the top, though, so I had my three inches. That's what I did on this one. This one I did from the bottom. But it depends on how you want it. Cut that out, and that's it. That will be our little drawing page. So I'll put that one away for another one here. So I think I'm going to make a few of these. I'd like to have one in here. I think I'm going to make a smaller one for out by my desk, where I have my computer and stuff. All right, so now that we have that done, I figured I wanted to add a few little um, embellishments to it. So I'm going to use one of these little starfish because they have all this great shore stuff coming in. And all I did with this is I took a little bit of this brown paint. Let's see if I can get a little bit of this. I'm just going to put a little bit in the lid for right now. Just a tiny bit. That's all you're going to need for this too. And a little brush and another paper towel. And I'll just show you how I made that. Because you know starfish aren't like stark white like these ones that you get at Dollar Tree. So I just kind of went around the edges of this like so, and then just rub most of it off just to give it that little brownish look to it. Nothing special here. It was just a little too white, and it has a whole bunch of grooves that will hold some of that paint down in there. And you can use whatever color you want. If you don't even want to make it brown, you could use a gray or whatever. You might want a pretty blue or pink one. I don't know. <laughs> but that's it. That's all I did to kind of darken up these little starfish just a little bit. So there. So that is how that came out. All right, that one's wet, so let me set that one over there. We're going to use this one that's not wet. Okay. Easy peasy so far, right? My favorite kind of DIYs. So then on the top corner of this, I'm going to add a little bow. Actually, I want to make a double bow, so I'm going to double up this ribbon here. And um, make a bow with both of these together like this. I'm not quite sure how big I want it yet, so we're going to make it a little bit bigger. That way you can always trim it down. And I'm just going to fold that over there. I always just wrap it around my thumb. And then hopefully I can get these two to go through nice and easy for me. Like so. And that way, usually with any lock, both of your um, ends will come down straight. I need to pull this one out more. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. There we go. I just want it a little bit bigger. Pull this side down. And I think that should be a good size for the top corner on here. 
And then after I glue it on there, then I'm going to pull these two apart so it has, you have a nice bigger looking bow. Just cut the ends off here. There, that looks pretty good. I might make it a little smaller. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to wait until I get it done and before I glue it on. And now for our little eraser, so after you write on this thing with your dry erase marker, you're going to need something to erase it with. So I just took a piece of black felt. No, it depends, like I said, depends on the size that you're making it. And I'm just going to cut a piece like this here and double it up. You can make this however big you want. And I think I'm going to have it be like maybe about that big. So then I'm going to cut this off, and I probably have enough to make two out of this piece. Alright, so this is going to be our eraser. And for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little piece of ribbon just to make it look cute. Um, I'm going to glue it in here in the top part. Put that inside here. Squeeze that together. Nope, I don't want to squeeze that together yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, let's glue that onto the back. And then I'm just going to make a loop with this, just to have a little decoration to this. There we go. We're going to fold that one back over just to make a little loop. Let's see, I get way ahead of myself. I get so excited. <laughs> All right, so there's our little loop, and now we're going to glue these sides together. Just push them down. Just on the edge. You don't want to get too much on here, like I just did. Well, at least it's on the inside. And then I'm just going to fold this up. So we're going to add some glue to each three sides here. A little here on the bottom. Fold that up, and this is what we're going to use for our eraser. And that's going to get attached to the frame with a piece of Velcro, too. So this is just going to be super cute. I have to plug this thing in here. I forgot to plug this camera in, and I don't want to lose you guys. Hang on one second. Sorry I'm shaking you. There we go. Do that all the time. If I don't plug this thing in halfway through my video, it just wants to conk out on me. Um, all right, so there you go. There is your little eraser. So we have that, and then I'm not going to put the Velcro on them yet. We're also going to use Velcro on this. That way, if you want to change your decorations up, you can do that too. And these are pretty light, so I'm thinking this that should hold that pretty well. All right, so let's see. This thing should be dry because we didn't put much on here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our glass back in. And hopefully I get this in the right way because I have some of the red on here that did not come off. And I want to make sure... Hang on one second. I think that was the outside. Alright, we'll see. I'm going to have to clean that off. Alright, and then you're going to take your paper and you're going to put that in there with your lines on it. And then we're going to replace the back. Make sure I got that right. Yep. Replace the back of this thing. Real simple. That just has those little tabs that you have to pull up and push back down. All right. We should have another one. You could even secure this even more if you wanted to. So there you go. That is what this is going to look like. Like I said, i got to clean this up because I have something on here. There we go. I did find that the red dry erase marker was much harder to get off of here. I didn't have a problem with like the black or the blue, but the, for some reason the red was really, really hard to get off. Alright, so now I'm going to take my little bow here and that's going to go right up in this corner. Let me make sure I have my camera. Bring it over here a little more. I'm just going to put this little bow up here, whatever color you want to use. We're going to put that up there. And then I'm hoping this is going to be strong enough for these little starfish. We're going to put one of these. And now, actually, what I'm going to do here, because 
um, wherever you're putting your little Velcro, you really don't want any paint. So I'm going to take a little bit of that off of there with some sandpaper here to make sure that that this thing has something good to hold on to. All right, I think that ought to do it. So we're just going to put our one piece of Velcro. You guys know there's one rough side, one smooth side. We'll take the smooth side and stick it on this starfish. And I'm hoping that that's going to be strong enough. Yeah, I think that's going to work out pretty good. And that way, you know, if you want to change it for all the holidays, you could make like, you know, a little carrot thing for Easter or a little Christmas tree or something. You can just change this thing up all year long. And that would be so much fun. And now, same thing here with our pen. We are just going to take another one of these Velcro strips. And let's see where I want to put this. I'm not sure. I'm just going to have this. Actually, I'm going to have this pen so it sits down on the table because I have a feeling it's going to be, I don't know, it's not much heavier than the um, starfish, but I think it'll just hold on here okay. Put this side on. Let's see. I'm going to hang it this way. So... All right, I'm thinking right there under my thumb. Put that there, and there you have your little dry erase marker. It's not going to go anywhere. And then over here, that could have went up a little bit higher. I may have to move that up. Um, over here, you're going to do the same thing with your little eraser. So actually, what I do a lot of times with this is just put these two together. And then I'm going to stick that right in the middle of the back of this one here. And then we're going to stick that. Mm, maybe I'll raise this one up a little bit. Maybe right here. I think that'll be cute. Or you could put it down in the corner. It doesn't matter. Wherever you want to put it. Look how fun that is. All right. And now for Mother's Day, I thought this would be cool. Um, I don't know which one I want to put on here. I think maybe this one would look great. This one says, Mom, you're the best. And they make these, you know, so you can decorate up cups or whatever with it. But I thought this would be fun here. So then you have that up there like so. And you could add more. You could add a lot of, like, those window clings. It would be so cute that they have a Dollar Tree. I got a big bubble in there. Whatever you want to put on it, I'll work that bubble out here. But look how cute. And then when you have this sitting on your desk, all you do is, you know, you have a thought and you're like... Or you could even add like a little picture of like a grandchild or kids or whatever you want to put down here in the corner or something. And then, you know, you got something that's like, oh yeah, I have lunch at 11. And I can't write because my wrist doesn't turn. We have lunch at 11. Or just, you know, let's see if I can get my hand to work here. Just like, Happy Mother's Day. And you can add a little smiley face, whatever. And then this would just make the sweetest little gift. And then when you're all said and done, it's like, okay, we already we went to lunch, whatever. You just take your little pad here and just wipe it right off. It wipes off a lot better if you wait for it to dry. <laughs> but you can wipe it right off. And then... Just use it over and over and over again. But yeah, dry erase markers don't wipe off real good when they're still wet. But I just thought this would be a really fun little idea to use. And then, see, much better when it's dry. Um, hang on, I'm blowing on it. But yeah, but I just thought that was a genius, genius idea. And like I said, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can use like just regular lined stationary paper, or if you want to put in a nice fancy paper back there, um, depending on, you know, what colors you're going to write with. See how easy it comes off when it's dry. And then you just take your little thing here. I'm going to have to wash that off now because I smeared it. But, and then you just put everything back. And then you can start over and make a whole new list. So, that was it. That was my little project for today. Like I said, you can make these for anything, any occasion, whatever you want to do with this. Um, 
even if you wanted to make one to hang, you know, to write down things you need to remember, whatever. But I just thought that was a great idea to use a picture frame for. But anyway, I hope you guys like this little project, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.